My name is Ben. So, next. Hi there, my name is Ethan. Watcha! And I am Melvin. My name is Nayang. Oh hey, my name is Rosa. And we are the Explorers, and welcome to Lampon Museum! <laughs> Ready guys? Let's go! the replica of the Borong Island. So let's talk about it. Borong Island is a tiny limestone island situated in the south of Labuan. The island is of special interest in archaeological studies because it was here that the first stone tool was excavated in situ in Sabah in 1960. This proves the presence of Neolithic lead stone edge men in Labuan more than 2,000 years ago. This is the history of British in Labuan. On 24 July 1846, Lord Palmerston Foreign Secretary issued an order to the Admiralty to establish its crown in Labuan. This made Labuan a British cult to establish power and gain complete control over trade in Borneo and Labuan. The British signed the Trade and Friendship Treaty with the Brunei Sultan on 27 May 1847. The British occupation of Labuan started the imperialism policy of the British in Borneo and dissolved the sovereignty of the Brunei Sultanate over Labuan forever. Well, to start with, let's talk about the Japanese expansion power in Southeast Asia. In 1931, the Japanese army controlled the politics of Japan, making it the strongest military force in Asia. To further strengthen the economic modernization process, Japan adopted the policy to conquer Southeast Asian countries to overcome its shortage of raw materials. On 1st of January 1942, the Japanese 37th Military Division Army under the leadership of Lieutenant General Masao Baba landed in Labo, marking the beginning of attack against North Borneo. AHP Humphrey, the British resident of Labuan, surrendered without resistance and Labuan was captured by the Japanese on 3rd of January 1942. Labuan was then renamed as Medashima, which means Maida Island, in honor of the commander of the Japanese forces in Borneo, General Maida, who was killed in an air crash at Pindulu. The liberation of Borneo from the Japanese occupation started off with Labuan. Under the command of Major General George F. Wooden, the convoy of the Allied forces with its strength of hundreds of ships and 25,000 army forces 
left their base in Molotai Island on 3rd of June 1945. At 9.30 a.m. 10th of June 1945, explosions of bombs fired from the air and sea broke the stillness of Labuan. With the landing of the 9th Division Australian Imperial Forces on Victoria Port, the locals are then freed from the Japanese. So on the 10th of September of 1945, Japanese has surrendered at Labuan. On 10th September 1945, Lieutenant General Masao Baba, commander of the Japanese 37th Army, surrendered his sword to Major General George F. Wharton and signed the surrender document in Kampong Layang Layang in Labuan. The site of ceremony is known as the Surrender Point. The surrender of Japanese in Labuan on 10 September 1945 was much earlier than in Malaya. Japanese surrender on 12 September 1945 in Malaya when Shishiro Itagaki handed over his sword to Lieutenant General Frank Maserati, the British military office in Malaya. On 15 July 1946, Rabban annexed to North Borneo was officially declared as British Crown Colony. This ended the British military administration which lasted for 10 months. Under the order in Council date 10 July 1946, Rabban ceased to be part of the Straits Settlements and become part of the colony of North Borneo. For administrative purpose, the colony of North Borneo was divided into four administrative purposes and Labuan became the administrative center for interior residency before it was moved to Kalingao in 1955. So a few years later, Labuan has finally become independent throughout the formation of Malaysia. So let's talk about, about how it was. On 27 of May 1961, Tunggu Abdul Rahman Putra Al Hajj, the Prime Minister of the Federation of Malaysian States, and recommended the formation of Federation of Malaysia. Global Commission was set up by the British government in year 1962 to obtain the feedback from the population in Borneo. As for Labuan, the Commission team was well received, and the Labuan Malay Society was among those who came forward to voice their support. The planned date of declaration of Malaysia was 31st of August 1963. Then the proposal to declare Labuan as a federal territory was first announced by the Sabah Chief Minister YB Dato Harris Muhammad Saleh after the Barisan National Meeting in Kuala Lumpur on 1st of August 1983. So it was finally formed on 16th of April 1984. So this is the second floor.